I never enjoy having my portrait shot. If you want to know about me, read my books. I don't think you'll see it in my, in my face. I wanted to be a dancer, and I was rather a good dancer, even acrobatic. Everybody wants to rewrite your book their way, so you've got to put your book where your mouth is. I was the only person who ever got the Nobel who was not officially recognised by the government of the country. But still, I take that as a compliment. <laughs> Veen Gordimer has always believed that her work is bigger than her. I took that very literally. She's a tiny little woman, and the juxtaposition of having her on these enormous books really worked for me. To me, being a writer, it's a voyage of discovery. It's being alive. You are questioning and you are moving on to discover what the real meaning of life is. Show Veen to the books. The word, this wonderful thing that needs a capital letter. You become aware of the power and the range of the word, and then you want to do your own little experiment with the word. I've always told young, beginning writers, read and write. You can be taught to be a good journalist, but you cannot be taught to be a poet or a novelist. You read, read, read. Now, of course, people don't read to their children the bedtime story doesn't exist. You put the kid in front of television, so they're not hearing the word and then looking at the book. A great regret that's in my life. The nine languages that belong to this country, I do not speak one of them. And I could have learned another language, but I didn't, so that's my own fault. But I find it indeed unforgivable now that I didn't do this. The novel is a kind of journey which is mapped out. I always know the beginning and the end, but how it's going to get there may change while I'm writing. It's an amazing portrait. You've got Nadine Gordimer sitting on her own books, like something out of Alice in Wonderland. It's, it, it is extraordinary when you see it. Also a human being, you're responsible to all the people who know you. You have to take care of them, standing up for them if they're in any trouble. There is this responsibility beyond your identity as a writer.